In France, intelligence sources say that of almost 2,000 citizens known to have traveled to join Islamic State in the Middle East, 67 came from one particular suburb in Paris. RT Charlotte Dubinsky went there. A short train ride from Paris is trap. On the surface, there's nothing much to set it aside from the thousands of other towns in the country. But you don't have to scratch very deep to see that trap is very different. Well, you won't see any non-halal butcher's shops. There are, I think at the moment, over 1,500 prayer rooms and five mosques. If you look at people on the street, you won't see couples holding hands. Uh, you'll see the women are dressed in strict Islamic uh, dress. Uh, there's a lot of homeschooling, so you couldn't really consider Trap as a, a typical French town anymore. It's a little bit like a state within a state. For decades, it's been considered a magnet for Muslim fundamentalists. Hardline Salafism and Wahhabism are widely practiced, and Trap has become synonymous with jihadism. Dozens of people left here to join Islamic State. Others have carried out attacks on French soil or have been linked to the night of terror in Paris in 2015. And while the terror threat appears to have been dialed down in France since a state of emergency was lifted, some claim that areas like Trap remain a hotbed for jihadism. It's only a matter of time before we have another attack. The basic problem is the ideology that's driving this, uh, and this goes much deeper than terrorist cells planning and executing attacks. That ideology is so ingrained that last year a poll of French high school students revealed 32% of Muslim students believed Islamic doctrine was superior to scientific fact. Another in 2016 showed that 68% believed Islamic law was superior to French law. There's also concern that in an area like this that was once branded a no-go zone by the authorities, that Sharia is becoming the law of the land. The full veil covering has been banned for eight years, yet the police are often reluctant to intervene after riots in 2013, when officers tried to ID a woman who was fully covered. It's a very, very fragile uh, situation which the government doesn't want to provoke uh, urban riots which would quickly spread like wildfire all over France. President Macron says he wants to reorganise Islam in a bid to fight fundamentalism. But some experts say that's a pipe dream. Radicalisation in places like this, they say, is already far too deep-rooted to dig out. Charlotte Dubinsky. RT Trap.